Rocky Hill was brutally killed on Monday evening. As Peter Sutcliffe carried on killing, the collection of clues became vast and there were no computers to manage it all. Everything was written and stored on index cards. The paperwork simply overwhelmed detectives. The floor of the incident room at Milgarth Police Station had to be reinforced to cope. You had a pro forma, you had to fill in everything, you had specific questions you asked to ask, you had to have what shoe size they had, did they have the gap in the teeth, you would do that, then that would be then forwarded, you would take that back to the incident room, that would be then forwarded on to Milgar, where the mountain, paper mountain just grew and grew and grew. Now you've got, you know, computer technology that does all this. Police interviewed Sutcliffe nine times, all written up and recorded. His car was spotted 60 times and logged, but no one made the connection. So he carried on killing. I see you are still having no look cutting me. I have the greatest respect for you, George. A hoaxer known as Wearside Jack led police on a wild goose chase for 18 months. In that time, Sutcliffe killed three more women. So what you do now is they have murder review teams who come in literally as your critical friend every couple of weeks and would question your, your rationale, your decision-making. Police were also criticised for the different way in which they treated the Ripper's victims, separating the sex workers from what they regarded as more innocent victims. I would say that if you're a prostitute, you probably got a lesser investigation to find out who'd done it before. And in fact, I've worked on uh, serial killings of prostitutes. But there's a different approach now that every case is treated as important. Prostitutes are now viewed and treated with far greater care. Better police procedures, perhaps the only positive legacy of such a dark episode in British criminal history. Martin Brunt, Sky News.